Hey everyone, Guts here for this short update as we've been pretty busy. Gamescom has passed, and now PAX West is this weekend. Roman Ronan, Guts, Cloud, and Lamb from Late Nights will be there. We will be looking for new games and keeping an eye out for anything about Halo Infinite. Now, on to the big news for this month. Total War Arena. It's back, that's right. NetEase, the Chinese publisher, has partnered with Creative Assembly to announce a return of Total War Arena. They will be adding in the Chinese Three Kingdoms into one faction to play. Just keep in mind, it will first go out to China to test the waters. We feel this will do really well, and on the success of a China release, we can see the game return to the rest of the world to play. I know we will be looking forward to playing the new Chinese commanders. Keep an eye out on our Facebook or Twitter, as we will try to bring you the latest on Arena as soon as we know more. Fountain Blade 2, Bannerlord. Speaking of NetEase, the publisher has also announced a partnership with the developers of Bannerlord, Tale World Studios. And along with this announcement, they released the Early Access Date, with a link to sign up for the beta. The link for the beta will be in the description below. Mordhau. Another two rounds of community maps have been released. Many more mods have been added, such as a rifle being added, and short spear throws can now toss mortar meshes in its place. Also, now cosmetics and server adjustments have been introduced into private servers to allow for Star Wars lightsaber mods, along with some wacky tweaks to gravity. One of our favorite mods is the inclusion of fire arrows. The possibility of mods are endless. Good work to the community and much more to come with the official ranked matchmaking release right around the corner. Last bit of news, Triturnian has released a sneak peek at the new armor in the latest announcement, so as quoted, save up some gold for it. Chronicles of Illyria. Some good news has been announced. For those that have pledged to the game, you can now pick a territory from the maps provided. The Late Nights community will be back and forth between the West and the East North American servers to accommodate for ping on both sides. Looking forward for alpha release, as we haven't seen much since PAX West a few years ago. Company of Heroes 2. The rookie tournament hosted by Late Nights, Lazarius, and Kane is slowly approaching the finals. As it wraps up, we will upload the live footage to the Late Nights YouTube archive for your viewing pleasure. Some very good matches thus far. And much more to come. And that's the short and sweet update that we have for you. To make up for this being short, next month will be much bigger. We hope to get updates for Warfallen, Valhalla, Last Oasis, Star Citizen, Contagion Outbreak, and more. Let us know what games you would like us to cover in the comments section below. See you late nighters next month. Guts out.